Hey everybody. So um, today is uh, a big day for me. Um, the bathroom that I have uh, has a leak in the toilet. So I'm having somebody to come out today actually to take a look at it. Uh, hopefully it's not anything outrageous. Um, hopefully it can be a quick fix. You know, uh, I'm saying hoping, but you know, uh, that's how I'm, I'm just going to stay positive and just, you know, believe that, you know, everything is going to work out the way it should. That's Bo running around if you hear her, uh, going back and forth. So, uh, but yeah, so I just wanted to give, um, just wanted to give like some quick thought on why why I chose to live this lifestyle. It's many different factors that went into this decision. Uh, I think the most important thing for me was I wanted a change for myself. Uh, the life that I was living before, it really just wasn't. It nothing was going on. It's the same old thing every day. Which I feel like a lot of us experience. And pe and some people are fine with that. And that's, hey, do you. But for me, it, I struggle with the same mundane things every day. It was, it was, uh, it was tough. It was tough for me. And I felt like it affected me in so many different ways. Not just mentally, but also physically. Uh, my health wasn't doing so great. So... I just feel like I just felt like it was time to make a change and so that that's the main part of it what made me decide to go out on an adventure like this uh, this journey and um, <clears throat> yeah so but uh, like I said it's many other factors that went into uh, uh, this decision as well and as i'm looking around at the campsite and i'm just wondering to myself it's it's like these other all these other people are they thinking the same thing or they're going through similar experiences that i have i met uh, a nice lady last night it was my first time um actually meeting one of the other campers here and she's very nice very welcoming um and her husband and her, they do this all the time. And so he's away with work. So she's here alone. And the first thing that she told me was to buy a gun. And um, like, I have no issues with defending yourself. And, but she was really just really trying to, you know, I felt like she was just really just trying to make me afraid. And that's the last thing that I want to be when I'm doing something like this is to be afraid because I I'm, I won't be able to function because I'm always wondering what's going to happen, who's coming after me, who who's, and I feel like this lifestyle, you really can't afford to be like that. So um, I have what I need and I'm planning on getting more, something else um, to defend myself. But I don't want to live in constant fear. I just don't want to live like that. I feel like I've, I've done that. I, li I lived that life for a long time. So, not to say that uh, it's nothing to be afraid of out there. It's just, I think it's... Um, um, how to express this is... It's the inner, it's the inner thing, I guess. Um, but I, I, I'm gonna be careful. I'm not gonna be foolish and you know go to places where I ain't got no business being. I do realize I am alone. Well, me and Bo, and uh, but and I know I, I lock down and I make sure that I have. Um, when I go to bed at night that all the windows and everything is just put up and locked away and covered up. So, 
um i i i'm gonna be fine so um but i understand how she feels i mean maybe this is like different for her so and she kind of shared some personal experiences that she had growing up so i can understand why she is really afraid so but i i just don't want to live like that you know no disrespect to her but i and i appreciate her for you know showing her concern and and and, and stuff like that but you know i just don't want to live like that so um but yeah so that's this is the plan for today i'm waiting on the person to come now and hopefully we can get that this situation fixed take care of and uh i know it's going to get taken care of so um and we, and i could just continue to move forward because i got big plans you know uh this is uh i i, I officially hit the road next week and my first stop is going to be myrtle beach i've never been and i want to take Bo to the beach and i want to watch her run to in the ocean and play and and i i promised her that uh because she she's been with me through some very very hard moments in my life and i tell you this dog she just she just sat with me she just sat and laid with me no matter where i was laying down or she just laid she just stayed with me so i want to do this for her so that's gonna be our first trip is to Myrtle Beach and so I want to make sure that uh, this RV is is going to get us there and that, and that it's going to everything in it is going to work as it sh as it should and yeah so I just want to hop on here kind of express that why I'm doing this and um, uh, say what's on the agenda today uh, Bo Bo, did you want to come say hey? Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on, you can do it. Yeah. Look, tell the people hey. Say hey. Say hey, pretty girl. Oh. Yes. Say hey. All right, y'all. I'm about to go see if I can take her for a walk. Another walk. But she loves it. She loves being outside, the fresh air. I don't know. It does something to both of us. So, this is not only good for me, but it's good for her, too. I think being out here. <laughs> that face. Ooh. Okay. So, y'all be good. And I'll see you on the next one.